Hey everyone, welcome back to the Mama Rick channel. Now, the last time I made a review of the Cosmos 2.0 white paper, so sort of the release of what they're looking at in the future, sort of like a roadmap, a white paper roadmap. So I, I talked about some of the concepts like liquid staking, and I want to talk about some of the platforms that are being looked at as are going to be sort of main contenders in liquid staking. So that goes into Quicksilver, Lido Finance, and another one which is Stride. So we're going to look at basically what those platforms do. So stay tuned for the whole video. Guys, straight up, the first thing I ask is make sure you hit that like and subscribe button because obviously it does a lot towards the growth of this channel. But the first thing that you see on the screen, this is Quicksilver. And it's one I'm going to review kind of a little bit because in a, all the technologies kind of tie into each other and they do the same thing. So I'm going to review Quicksilver specifically because they kind of seem to be following what the Cosmos Hub 2.0 white paper was, was stating in terms of the shared security and so on. And it's a very brief thing that I think will be really good educational information for you. And also given the fact that they're looking at quarter three to towards launching their actual platform so if you're watching this video right now you're at the right moment i suppose so we're looking at here there this is pretty much their website and this will cover everything to do with uh, liquid staking if you know what's going on here especially in the cosmos ecosystem so as a sovereign cosmos software development kit zone sdk zone quicksilver is not subject to the constraints associated with the existing approaches to liquid staking so if you watch my video about the 2.0 paper they talk about security they talk about this collaboration they, co they talk about the allocator the scheduler so all these comes into this technology that ties into the idea of a port city governed by this cosmos hub and the security the technology that's within there and also the value effects then we look at through the interchain account exactly and the liquid staking module quicksilver rapidly and seamlessly on board any cosmos sdk based on zone based zone in a permissionless manner so talking to other cryptocurrencies that will be onboarded onto the cosmos zone in terms of collateral in terms of their use case and what they're looking to do so their contribution towards the pools that are in these different collateralized um, date debt positions and things like that so due to its design quicksilver can scale to a limitless number of zones with zero onboarding effort required from neither the zone nor their validators and this speaks to these automated market makers these smart contracts automated market makers in terms of DeFi, but also smart contracts in terms of what smart contracts actually do uh, automating the processes of these DeFi platforms so quicksilver is controlled by its token holders and all decisions to onboard new zones distribute incentives and control parameters are determined by the community so this speaks to the idea of decentralized centralization and basically validating delegating your votes to a validator and the ability to actually make decisions because most of these transactions are going to be on chain as opposed to being off chain so that's one of the liquid staking sort of innovations that's being uh, introduced to the cosmos hub so we want to introduce this mev maximum extractable value and all those things on chain so that the users can actually benefit from it so this all ties into what we talked about in the white paper yesterday or actually the other day or two days ago the fungibility, the value preposition, the fungibility of issued vouchers, the socialization of risk across all validators, the maintenance of governance rights, no validator whitelist, users can delegate to all validators, the incentivization of choosing performant and decentralized validators. So we're looking at a validator sort of running nodes on different networks, which increases security or different technologies. These different smart contracts could be designed in different ways, such that an attack on one validator does not really spill over into other ecosystems. So it goes into security and on-chain governance controlled airdrop module for newly onboarded chains. And you can look at, if you actually read their blog post on Medium, you see that people who will be staking with them will be liable to certain airdrops because these different validators, the way, uh, speaking to the value preposition in Cosmos is that different validators staking different networks, but maybe securing the Cosmos hub, could these you could qualify for these different airdrops of different networks which kind of exponentially scales out the value effect on the cosmos system so what about their token the quicksilver token their token is a liquid staking token with multiple use cases securing the quicksilver chain through staking uh, determining the future of the quicksilver zone through on-chain governance uh, paying transaction fees for all actions on the zone so we believe that the majority of our tokens should be in hands of the community our ambitious incentivization strategy allocates over half of the genesis supply and 30 percent of inflation to the cosmos community and is designed to empower cosmonauts that's what they call themselves in unique ways and this is their roadmap end of q1 2022 initial test nets and you can see that apparently they were concluded mid q2 
incentivize testnets that this was concluded so look up very soon they'll be launching their actual platform so you want to be there you want to be the first one there if you want to participate in this a quick disclaimer guys when you're liquid staking you actually onboard your tokens to another smart contract and you issue the synthetic assets that, that then you use to vote or to, to perform other DeFi, whatever you want to do with DeFi, whatever you want to use your tokens for so that they are liquid and you can use them uh, while still, secu still secu uh, securing the network. So an important question indeed, as more than 50% of the Genesis supply will be airdropped to the community, follow us up on this. So you can follow their social media platforms to find out this more on that and then you can also read their blog post here which is going to provide a lot more information um frequently asked questions about the tokens about the airdrops because people stuff uh, like stuff like that you know the financial the economic the economy the incentives that underlie these networks that are pulling all these people the interest literally DeFi is the one that sparked off the previous bull market so things like that so Lido Finance, guys, pretty much what you've just seen, Lido Finance wants to do the same thing, especially with Cosmos Hub and in the future, other Cosmos technologies that are developing around the Layer Zero technologies, Tendermint, um, Cosmos SDK, Cosmosim, and Cos JavaScript, so using JavaScript as well. So all these kinds of technologies. Lido Finance, one of the largest holders of synthetic, of actual Ethereum and issuers of synthetic Ethereum, because they're holding the most Ethereum, I think. Uh, you can see $5 billion worth of ETH, and then Solana, Polygon, and so on. So eventually these guys, they don't have Cosmos here, but they're actively working and actually introducing liquid staking on the Cosmos ecosystem as well. And that's how impactful or that's how much the Cosmos ecosystem has infiltrated or their technology is being proved out as a technology that works. And if you look at the spillover with Terra Luna and how it didn't affect other Cosmos networks, I think that was validity enough. And also things like um, DYDX is such a highly liquid platform on the Ethereum network, choosing to actually work with these technologies on Cosmos. So Lido Finance, if you're choosing to stake, you can see an example, you can stake a token here, you issue liquid tokens, but we're going to see that with another platform, which is Stripe. So we looked at liquid silver we looked at lido finance most of you know what that is so we're going to look at stride which pretty much does the things we've been talking about but they actually have a platform that i can use so just give me one second to open up my my ledger um almost there okay i think i typed in the right code yeah, thank goodness. Okay, so this is going to be actually the first time I'm doing this, guys. So let's see. Um, on this wallet, I staked most of, most of my atom, but you can see I still have 0 0.24 uh, atom available. So we're going to try to stake this 0 0.1 atom. So normally the way this works, you stake your tokens and they're automatically delegated to a validator. You secure the network and you incentivize by the inflation of the token that ensues, right? The ensuing inflation of the token. And we looked at the new model of Cosmos that that will have a logarithmic curve. It will be high inflation and it will turn out into a linear inflation. So let's see how this works. So stake your Atom tokens in exchange for ST Atom, which you can deploy around the ecosystem. So you can liquid stake half of your balance if you're going to LP. So I can choose half, but we're going to use 0 0.1 because I imagine maybe it leaves some tokens so you can pay guy gas fees and things like what, like that. So liquid stake, nice, you're about to liquid stake. Approve the transaction in your wallet. So to continue, this will start the transfer of your Atom tokens. Yes, so it's popping up here. Uh, you might not see it on your side because of the screen, record, uh, screen recorder. So uh, try again, the transfer could not be completed. Your tokens have not been moved. Let's try again. Okay, so just try and choose a higher gas fee okay so guys i really wanted to show you how this works it was my first time to try this but i imagine there's a lot of security issues concerned especially now with the developmental stage of many of these technologies including the cosmos hub itself but i don't think i think this is going to be cleared out but essentially when this works you're supposed to be able the same technology as lido finance as quicksilver so what happens is like a liquid farming pool you issue your tokens and what you get on the other side is the are the synthetic tokens so in the background your actual atom is sticked out there and you get a one-to-one -one ratio of your actual tokens and once you do that then you can use these tokens to do other applications in DeFi. but a quick disclaimer is that personally i'm going to wait for a little while before i can actually do all of this because you know 
with DeFi and what has happened in the past, I really wouldn't want to have my tokens in a smart contract. Doesn't matter if it's Lido Finance, one of the biggest stakers out there. I think it's something once this technology matures, I'll give it some time before I can actually try it. But if you want to demonstrate with little bits of, of tokens out there, especially if some of these platforms that have launched, once they fix whatever issues they have, you can try this out. And especially being an early tester of some of these technologies, you could be liable to some of the airdrops, but they don't really mention what the criteria is if you're going to qualify for to some of these things. So guys, I urge you to try out many of these technology. You'll be an early tester. Use as little tokens as possible just to see how these technologies work and you get a, a better understanding of, of where this kind of technology is headed and where the future of finance is headed. All right, guys, I hope you learned something and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.